Welcome to Serato Sample 1.1. I'm OP, Artist Relations Manager here in New York City. Serato Sample is our powerful and intuitive new sampler plugin for producers, available in VST and AU formats. Since the release of Serato Sample 1.0, music producers across multiple genres have used the plugin with ease and efficiency to create music. We listened to producers' feedback, and we've made two major improvements, adding Q output routing for per pad output to DAWs, and also undo redo to correct accidents and mistakes to cue points and parameters. Serato Sample officially supports Ableton, FL Studio, Machine, and Logic, but should also work with other DAWs that supports VSTs and AUs. So why use Q output routing? Using Q output routing will prevent users from creating multiple instances of Serato Sample with the same sample source to control mixer output for individual sounds. Step one, I opened up an empty Logic session. I then created a software instrument by choosing AU Instruments Serato, Serato Sample Stereo. And then I load the song Music is the Key. Step two, I clicked on the arrow for the auto set features and selected Set Slicer. I then selected the beat size of one beat. I then pressed Set Slicer and 16 regions were created. I transposed the key by minus three and started a MIDI recording with the performance of the cue points that I liked. Step three, I then created another software instrument by choosing AU Instruments, Serato, Serato Sample, Multi-Output, 16 Stereo. I then loaded the song Runaway, I wouldn't change a thing. I created a few manual cue points on the drum break of the song. I also adjusted the volume, filter, and attack parameters on each of the cue points to change the way the drum break sounded. Step four. I selected output in Serato Sample and began to select the Q output routings for each pad. Side note, if creating 16 Q output routings, the destination for one of the 16 outs will be set to master. Each of the other pads will be set to outputs 2 through 16. Step 5. In Logic on the software instrument track, I clicked the plus sign in the lower corner of the track to make auxiliary tracks. Once each of the channels were set, I began to play pads and each had a separate output from the assigned channel. On each of the channels, I added effects like EQ, compression, reverb, and delay. I also panned each channel to the left and right to create a spread from my sound. I then recorded a MIDI performance of the cue points on the track that I had an instance of Serato sample loaded on. Step six, I created another software instrument by choosing AU Instruments, Serato, Serato Sample, Multi-Output, 16 Stereo. This time with Serato Sample, I used the acapella, Love Like This. I found a vocal phrase that I liked and created three cue points at the same phrase. I then took two cue points and pitched one up using key shifting and also used key shifting to pitch one down. I selected output in Serato Sample and began to select the cue output routing for each pad. A brand new life. In Logic on the software instrument track, I clicked the plus sign in the lower right hand corner of the track to make auxiliary tracks. Once each channel was set, I began to play the pads and each had a separate output for the assigned channel. On each channel, I added effects like EQ, compression, reverb, and delay. I also panned each channel left and right to create a spread from my sound and then I recorded a MIDI performance with the cue points on the track that had an instance of Serato sample loaded. A brand new life, a brand new life, a brand new life I can see. Step seven. To finish off the beat, I opened up one more instance of Serato sample on a separate channel. I took an 808 bass tone and time stretched it and changed the global key from 4A to 9A using the Camelot wheel key notation setting. I also put the sample into keyboard mode so I could play the bass note across the 88 keys. And then I recorded a MIDI performance of the bass.
If you want to learn more, go to support.serato.com.